Hi, this is Felipe from User Guiding. Do you want to learn how to create a guide? In this video, I will show you how to accomplish that. You can easily create a guide either from your admin panel or from the Google Chrome extension. I'm excited to walk you through them. The first way to create a guide is by clicking on the new guide button in the guides tab on your panel. Let's go there. Once you click the button, a pop-up window will appear asking you to fill in the guide information. Here, you need to name your guide and assign a targeting URL. The targeting URL should be of the page you want to display this specific guide on. Perfect. Lastly, select the theme you want to apply to your guide and click on Confirm. Clicking on Confirm will take you to the target page and open the extension. Perfect! I'm using Udemy as an example platform. This is Udemy's register page, where the users sign up for the platform and where we'll create our guide. Before we continue with creating the guide steps, let's take a look at how to get here directly through the extension. You can open the user guiding extension by clicking the UG icon on the top right corner of your browser. If the icon is not visible there, click on the puzzle piece icon to access the full list of your extensions and select user guiding. The process is very similar to the one we went through using the panel. Here, you need to click the plus guide button first. Then, you'll be asked to name your guides and pick the theme. After clicking Create, you're ready to add the steps to your guide. If you want to change the guide's configuration settings through the extension, clicking on the Settings button will display a quick access menu. To add the first step to your guide, click on the Plus Step button. Here, you will be asked to pick between a modo, a tooltip, and an input field. Select the one most suitable to your needs and customize it. I am going to choose the tooltip option here because I want to point to a specific HTML element. Here, I'll ask user guiding to proceed to the next step when the user clicks on this element. Now, we're going to create a second step just an informative one. I am selecting a modo because in this step, I just want to inform the user without giving them any actions. Now, let's add one final step to our guide. This time, I will use the input field because I want to bring the user's attention to the search bar. You can select the Autofill option to showcase an example input. You can add more steps by clicking the plus step button again. Now, let's preview our guide. We click here, we go to the next, we autofill, and we're done. Once you have created all your steps for your guide, head back to the admin panel to configure it. Remember to activate it. save the changes and publish them to see the finished guide on your live website. Let's check in now. Let's preview our guide working. Let me close this and refresh the page. Okay, click here, go to next, and autofill. Perfect. I hope this was helpful.